okay, I decided to add a DRO to my Grizzly gunsmithing lathe. As you can see, the one from Grizzly costs $900 after shipping. That's a little bit out of my budget, so I went with a cheaper alternative. The uh, on Amazon.com, Tashi has one for $238.99, and it was pretty easy installed. I had to drill nine holes, eight of which I had to tap, but they were, it was a simple matter. Had to make, had to machine one piece to be able to guide the, the reader along the the scale, but that wasn't that was pretty straightforward, also. So, here are the videos showing how I did what I did. All right, the way I did this, I attached my one side of this up next to the chuck then I attached it to my carriage then I adjusted it here using the bracket that came with it and one that I made to extend it down further and then when I had it adjusted here where I wanted it I moved it all the way down here so that it would support it at the same height. Then I drilled it, and now I'm tapping it. And it's very easy to tap cast iron. This is the first time I've ever tapped crap cast iron. It taps very easily. And it stops, back it out a little bit, and go back and see if you've hit the yeah, I've hit the bottom of the hole, so that's, just back it all out. And I tapped it M6, 1.0, so now I just use a File those out a little bit. To file. I'm gonna have to file these slots a little just to to get it. The M6 screw to where it'll fit. Came with M5s, but I don't have an M5 tap. Okay. All right. I just installed this digital readout on my lathe. The it's working very well. The only piece I had to make was this piece. Everything else came in the kit. I had to make this piece because I couldn't get it that close. Couldn't get this up any higher and still uh, move the carriage because there's some grub screws under here. So then over here on the side on the cross slide, I I didn't have to do anything much. I just drilled and tapped these holes, put them in, put the screwed it all in, drilled and tapped these two holes here, and put some double sided tape on the back, and it was all that it took to hold it out enough to there's a little offset down under here that I had to compensate for and I wasn't gonna uh, mill my cross slide none that was would have been way too much work I still have to put the covers on but I cut the cover too short so what I'm going to end up doing is uh, 
get some aluminum angle and use it instead. Work just as well, probably better. But anyway, that's it. I've got to get some more uh, screws to go in the in this part right here that's shorter. These are too long, so that I can get the this longer cover on onto that to protect it. And then I'll start putting this back together. I think before I put it back together though I'm going to drill a couple holes in here and put some plumbing fixtures so that the all these uh, cords right here will all go these cables will all slide down in there because they're really getting they're really annoying to be up in here when you're trying to clean all those all those chips out so anyway that's the that's what I've done today probably be doing a little bit more of it tomorrow I'll show you the finished setup when I get it done so thanks for watching all right I drilled I used a hole saw a two inch hole saw and drilled holes or cut holes in the chip pan on the back of the lathe so I can route these these cables down so they won't get in the way when I'm trying to clean the chips up but I took silicone sealant caulk whatever and uh, glued it down with that and I've got a something to put on the underneath a nut to uh, tighten it down so that it won't come loose. Anyway, that's step two. I'll be doing a few other things tomorrow. I'm, I'm done for the day. Here's my finished digital readout for my lathe and the, I got that mounted. I cut the cover too short so I'm going to have to uh, use a piece of aluminum angle to finish that up. But that, that'll be easily done. And around back, I've, I've got a, I've got the cover on there. I don't have the screws in it yet, but I'll I'll get them at, marked and and in there as soon as I can. Probably today. I've got to go. To, I've got an appointment today, so I don't have time. Got to go home, back home and clean up. But I also got my those ports in there and I'm really considering building a taper attachment to go all the way across the back of this and if I do I may not be able to put my backsplash back on but if I can't I'll, I'll, I'll build one out of some sheet metal Anyway, that's step two in my Grizzly G4003 Super Lathe project. I'm going to make a heck of a lathe system out of this.